Another way that a large company can um, get new suppliers in front of them and talk about uh, potentially working together can be something called a competitive pitch. And a competitive pitch is very, very common in some industries. So, for example, in the marketing industry, it really is very, very common for a larger business to say, I want to see three website companies, or I want to see three SEO companies, or three marketing agencies who can do creative work. And that means it's a little bit like a tender, but not quite so blind. It means that you will prepare some materials in advance, typically go and make a presentation in advance, and the company will, will score you so that they'll be scoring you live and, and asking you questions live rather than you doing it as a tender process where it's all blind. But the same pitfalls can happen because, again, if you're preparing something in advance, you're preparing it without really understanding exactly what their needs are. And so there's a little bit of guesswork involved. So that's the first thing. You might be putting something in front of them that isn't exactly what they wanted because you haven't had that opportunity to ask them questions. And secondly, a lot of creatives get quite nervous about this process, particularly if it's more than one step. So a creative agency might be asked to present some ideas, um, perhaps some testimonials, some work they've done in the past, like a, a credibility presentation. And then they'll be shortlisted to go to a second meeting and do a further presentation where they might be asked to develop some of those ideas. Now, if you're a creative agency, you get paid for creating good quality content or a good quality brand or logo. And then being asked to develop that idea means you're going through a further stage of working, presumably without getting paid. And there's a fear at the back of your mind always that the company might take some of those ideas, go and work with a different agency, but you've, lot, you've not been paid for it and you've lost all, all contact with that prospective customer. So competitive tendering uh, competitive pitching can be almost as bad as a tender process in that you're doing all the work up front, you're not necessarily getting paid for it, and you can still end up at the end of the day with no sale.